and oil prices have soared to their highest level since 2008. It's due to delays in potential return of Iranian crude to global markets and as the US and European allies consider banning imports of Russian oil. The talks to revive Iran's 2015 nuclear deal with world powers were merged in uncertainty yesterday following Russia's demands for US guarantee that sanctions it faces over Ukraine conflict will not hurt its trade with Tehran. Look at India's oil imports. Well, from 101.3, it has now come down, but in value terms, it's quite substantial. 175.9 million tons of crude was imported last year. China has also based new demands, and according to reports, US and European allies are exploding banning imports of Russian oil. Brent was up 100 over well, at to $129 up by $11.67 to a barrel. WTI, another type of crude, was up $10.83 to $126.51, putting both contracts on track for their highest daily percentage gain since May of 2020. If you look at impact of dollar one per barrel increase, petrol diesel prices could go up by 0.8 rupees to a liter, well that's minimum. And overall, any dollar one barrel increase leads to $2 billion increase in India's import bill. In the first few minutes of trade yesterday, both benchmarks rose to their highest level since July of 2008, with Brent at $139.13 a barrel and WTI at $130 a barrel. Both contracts hit their highest in July 2008. Now, JP Morgan is saying the crude can't touch $185 to a barrel this year, which means it's going to devastate economies of many countries, especially the vulnerable ones in Southeast Asia, including Sri Lanka. Even Pakistan and other small countries will have nowhere to go because the crude, high crude, is clearly going to wipe off a majority of their forex reserves that are spent every year only on importing crude oil. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.